The Regal Royal Interstellar Casino was the most famous gambling establishment in the known galaxy. Beings from all over came to try their luck against the infamous Rigel House odds at games of chance and skill from a thousand different worlds. In a private high-stakes room in the back, a tournament of galaxy-renowned poker players was underway. Trillions of credits and unimaginable bragging rights were on the line as the best card chart minds in the cosmos matched wits and luck. At the final table remained a motley group, two crab-like backstory, who clicked their claws in anticipation, a huge furred ursoth with a permanent scowl, a sibilant surfi with silvery snakes in place of hair, and two bipedal mammals called humans. The ursoth growled as two more cards were dealt. The humans, a male named Jack and female named Alicia, exchanged in subtle glance. The ursoth thought his tail was well hidden, but the humans could see his left ear twitch almost imperceptibly. He had a good hand. The backstory were harder to read, being so alien. But Jack noticed the spacing between clicks was slightly irregular for one of them, a possible sign of anxiety about a bluff. Alicia, meanwhile, was closely watching the surfy, detecting a slight tightening in its snakes, not a great hand. As betting commenced, the humans subtly exploited what they read in the aliens' movements and behaviors, discerning hidden information to gain an advantage. It was unconscious and instinctive for humans. Despite the aliens being so foreign, humans could read them in a way that felt intuitive and natural. The legend said it stemmed from an ancient time on Earth, when early humans had to closely judge friend from foe on the primal savannas. Being social animals, humans evolved an innate emotional intelligence to discern subtle cues in body language that could mean survival versus death in crucial moments. That primal instinct now gave them an edge even with extraterrestrials. As the poker tournament wore on, the advantage slowly became clear. The backstory's odd clicks gave away several bluffs allowing Alicia to wisely fold. A nearly invisible sheen of sweat on the neck of the Earsoth, White told Jack its supposedly formidable hand, was a ruse, prompting a triumphant all-in raise that knocked the huge alien out. Eventually, it was just the two savvy humans versus the KG surfy left. The alien snakes twisted wildly as the river card was dealt, the decisive final community card that would seal fates. Its eyes narrowed slightly when it saw the card, snakes freezing for a split second. But to the humans, that subtle reaction spoke volumes. The surfy liked this card and was now confident in victory. But as Jack and Alicia checked and called the alien's sudden massive rays, their calm demeanor signaled they knew something it didn't. Alicia gently ran a finger across the table as she glanced at Jack's hand. When her digit passed briefly over Jack's wrist, she lightly tapped once with her fingernail. Code between partners, Jack's expression didn't change, but she could tell he understood Alicia had the best hand and would take this pot. When at last they revealed their cards, an astonished murmur filled the room. Impossibly, Jack's full house had edged the surfy's formidable four of a kind. Bedlam erupted as the humans raked in their astounding victory to become the first non-Rogelian poker champions. Amid the chaos, Jack winked at Alicia as credits poured in. Nice read on the snakehead, he laughed. And with that uncanny human ability to decode alien behavior, the two friends celebrated conquering the galaxy's premier poker tournament. Many decried humans as having an unfair advantage, being able to subconsciously exploit alien tells. When the Ruby Sector Tribune proposed special rules limiting human participation in major tournaments, galactic gambling commissions rejected the notion outright as absurd and unenforceable. Privately, though, some officials considered it wise to avoid further embarrassing powerful alien gambling, interests by overly flaunting human proficiency in high-profile multi-species games of chance and skill. But others argued humans should not be penalized just for excelling at reading opponents during play. Controversy only grew a year later, when Jack and Alicia repeated as Regal Royal Champions after another dominant performance afforded by spotting unnoticed alien poker tells. A famous surfy poker instructor analyzed their play versus his defeated student and declared these mammals read body language better than our own young hatchlings. Either they possess telepathic powers or these humans have evolved some sixth sense beyond our understanding. As more humans won major poker tournaments across the systems, many aliens became convinced that they did enjoy some unfair biological advantage. Resentment simmered while humans leveraged unwitting biological cues to amass fortunes and gambling winnings. The force poker ability cap 
proposed years earlier soon gained more traction and support, the situation finally reached a boiling point during the 50th annual Rapidin Invitational, one of the oldest and largest multi-species tournaments in the galaxy. Johnny Mills, a young human barely of legal gambling age, made a dream run to become the first human finalist after dazzling upset victories over two veteran Vax story and a renowned Ursoth card sharp thanks to reading their unguarded body language. The polarized reactions made headlines across inhabited space. To many humans and some progressive aliens, it was a triumphant underdog story, a human using wits and instinct to succeed against imposing alien opponents on a galactic stage. They praised Johnny's poker skills and uncanny ability to read opponents, but to conservative alien gambling interests, it was a distasteful spectacle, just the latest example of humans exploiting an intrinsic biological advantage over other species in poker. Citing ethics, they doubled down on demands to formally constrain humans in major poker tournaments for the greater good. As Johnny competed for the Rapidan title in the final against a distinguished Aurelian, anti-human poker protesters surrounded the tournament venue demanding action while pro-human counter-protesters decried perceived prejudice. News nets across the galaxy carried the contentious match live, the controversial human challenger either hero or villain depending on who watched. Incredibly, Johnny once again leveraged his innate talent-reading alien behavior to top the formidable Aurelian champion in a major upset. His historic victory set off raucous celebration among humans as Johnny became the first ever human to win Rapidin and cement poker's elevation as a competitive sport for humanity. But many aliens seethed at this ultimate humiliation, beaten yet again on the green felt battlefield by mammals, exploding biological advantage rather than skill. With protests raging outside amid vandalism and clashes getting violent, Rapidan organizers declared humans would be effectively banned from next year's tournament for everyone's good. Other major poker tournaments quickly followed suit. In the years since the infamous Rapidan decision, Poker play among humans and aliens has become largely segregated to avoid further controversy. Humans continue dominating the few integrated multi-species tournaments, still permitting their participation, though often political correctness leads them to bow out of such events voluntarily before galactic resentment boils over. Meanwhile, nearly all human world governments have legalized poker and embraced it with an almost patriotic fervor, leading to explosions in popularity, sponsorship, and legitimization as a sanctioned path to fame and fortune among humans. Annual Human Poker Global Championships, now rival major sporting events in viewership and prize valuations, worth hundreds of billions of credits as top human players become global celebrities. With poker skill now a mark of human competitiveness and superiority in the galaxy, many see the defensive alien ban in integrated tournaments as tacit admission that humans had simply become too inherently dominant thanks to their uncanny ability to read opponents. Yet others call for pragmatism and peaceful competition between species for the greater good, without needlessly inflaming poker politics. But one thing is clear, that ancient human instinct for discerning hidden biological cues remains alive and well, granting a dominant edge at the poker tables. And Johnny Mills, the controversial trailblazing champion of Rapidin, best embodied that inescapably innate human talent, to read Alien tells through some uncanny sixth sense, one that may forever change how the Milky Way views poker prowess and those uniquely gifted mammals from the soul system henceforth.